Wanganalam everyone. That means welcome here in Gubby Gubby language. My name is Natalie McLean and you're watching Jundari TV. Hey my friends, before we get started, let's turn on our listening binal. Binal means ears. Click, click. Well done. Okay, so now I'd like to acknowledge the land that we're on today. Whose country are you on? I am on Wurundjeri country and I acknowledge our ancestors from the past, present and future. Well done everybody. We always like to pay our respects to our traditional owners. Me now. My people are from the Guppy Guppy, Waka Waka and Kamali Nations in Queensland. So, I'm a desert and salt water woman. You're watching Jundari TV, so you might be wondering, what's a Jundari? Jundaris are the magical pixies from the east coast of Australia. Jundaris lived amongst nature and cared for our plants and animals. They helped the seeds to bloom and the flowers to grow. Jantaris are very good at hiding and very hard to spot. You might find one hiding in your garden. Jantaris are sometimes found in other parts of country and have different names. Have you ever seen a jantari before? What did they look like? If I saw a jantari, I'd like to be friends. time everyone. This story is called Uluda and the Jandaris. We're going to be using our listening binum to hear the story and use our bodies to make the actions. You can copy my actions or you can make up your own. Let's begin. In the dream time there lived a special golden porpoise named Uludara. Uludara lived in the big drop on the edge of the eastern coastline. Uludara was a giant golden porpoise who swam the oceans of earth for hundreds and hundreds of years, learning stories from all parts of the world and returning home every year to share the stories with the people of the east coast. Uludara would share stories of other seas, other smells and other sounds. He carried each story in a barnacle on his back. The people of the East Coast were rich with knowledge and land and resources because of all of the stories they learned from Uludara. Uludara kept the stories that he learned from all across the world in little barnacles on his back. From time to time, a saltwater jundari would go down to the water and meet with Uludara to retrieve a barnacle from his back and bring it back to the people of the East Coast and to the other Janjaris, and they would share that story with each other. This sharing of knowledge went on for centuries until, one day, Earth changed. The land broke into the sea on the East Coast. Miles of land was lost to the ocean and the big drop where Uludar lived, off the coral reef of the east coast, well, it disappeared. And so with it, Uludara's home. Because it was no longer safe for Uludara to stay in his home on the east coast, he set off on a journey for more stories. The people of the east coast felt very sad but they had faith that Uludara would return one day with even more stories to tell and to share. Many moons passed and the water on the east coast began to settle again. Uludara returned one morning as the sun rose. He swam in its golden light beams 
revealing himself in the depths and leaping for joy. When Uludara finally returned, he had a very, very important story about the future. For what happens in the sea will impact the land greatly. Uludara learned that in the future, the sea will rise and the land will break and neither sea nor land dwellers will have a place to call home if we ever harm our planet. Uludara said the earth will change on its own and it's our job to nurture these changes and learn from them. Uludara said, we must go with the flow not against the current. Uladara means that we must live with the land, not against it, for we are a part of it. This is our only home. The people of the East Coast had always lived with the land and were so prosperous, they could not understand how anyone could want to harm the land, but they promised they would always be caretakers for the land and for the sea. To this day, the Gubbi Gubbi and Waka Waka people of the East Coast are caretakers for the land and for the sea. The little Jundaris of the East Coast and the people of the East Coast share this story of the future with all people and animals with the hope that they too would always be caretakers for Earth, our only home. The End Wow! That was some excellent storytelling, my friends! You're an expert! You know what? There are many ways to tell stories. We can sing our stories, we can dance our stories, and we can even read books too. If you would like to make the Jundari Pledge to protect and care for our country, now's the time. Place your hand over your heart and repeat these words after me. I pledge to be like a Jundari and always care for our country. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Yay! That's it for today's episode, everyone. Today, we learned about Aboriginal culture by learning to speak words in Gubby Gubby language. We also became expert storytellers and some of us even took the Jundari Pledge to care for country. Next time, we'll be hearing another amazing story from one of my very good friends. See you next time. Bye.